The Green Ghana Day was introduced in 2021 by President Nana Ekufuado as part of an aggressive national afforestation program to restore the lost forest cover of Ghana and to contribute to the global effort to mitigate climate change. In anticipation of this year's Green Ghana Day, Deputy Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, Benito Ousubio, is on a visit to partners of the Green Ghana Initiative to express gratitude for their continuous support. In 2021, we started. Uh, we started with an initial uh, target of 5 million, and uh, at the close of day, we were able to distribute, seven, uh, distribute and plant 7 million. Yes. And then the following year, to uh, we set another target of 20 million, and we did around 24 million, yes. Uh, as we speak now, on the average, if you take the two years together, uh, the success rate or the survival rate of these seedlings uh, is pegged at around 70%. This has been through our own observation, monitoring exercises that we've done, and then finally, uh, one that has been done by national security on their own. They even didn't inform us that they were doing this, but they did it behind us, and then they brought us their report, which showed clearly that, yes, uh, these are the challenges, and uh, this is where it's been successful. The group CEO for Guel PLC, Kwame Osei Prempe, one of the partners was full of praise for the initiative, as he believes it will help deal with some of the country's environmental issues. This dream it's a real good one, timelessly, and every Ghanaian ought to support it, especially corporate bodies. And we know that um, use of fossil fuels damage the environment. So the more peace we have, the better it is for us, because some of the carbon can be absorbed, and you can have some free air to breathe. So if we at God shared your dream. That's what propelled us to bring that um, donation. But we do not believe that we are doing we did anything extraordinary because it's our duty to help Mother Ghana. Managing director for Japan Motors, Abdul Somod Al Hassan Musa, said the initiative will play a significant role in reducing the impact of global warming. So, and then we also hope that with this uh, kind of gesture we have done, the, the next time we are meeting, you give us a brief of the number of plants oh, that we have uh, planted, planted yes. and which have survived. <laughs> so that we, we, have, we, look, we, we, we think that we actually our contribution will go a long way to improve the green uh, ideas that we all have. So this is a small thing that I want to say. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. The team also visited the Chamber of Mines, where the CEO assured continual support for the initiative. The same way you mentioned that this is coming from the Honorable Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, I, I want to, to be, to be um, transparent here to say that we discussed the matter of Green Ghana at the highest level of the Ghana Chamber of Mines. And a decision was taken that we should continue to budget for Green Ghana going forward. So that commitment is, is, is always there. It's always going to be there. It's going to be a part of us. This year's Green Ghana Day is scheduled for 7th of June with the goal of distributing a total of 10 million trees. Esther Nkrumah's report read to you.